Hi everybody, today I'll be showing you how to make this cool cloud print on Procreate. So first you're going to want to create a new canvas screen size and just do that. And now what you're going to want to do is get the first brush. So go into calligraphy and get Moan Line. And yeah, just click on that and go into the colors and pick the color you're going to use for your first little um, cloud print. Well, your only color, so yeah. Unless you want to do a multicolor one, which is fine. But now, what you're going to do is you're going to want to do a squiggly shape on the edge. Um, so when you do this, make sure you don't do edges. It has to be like this. So like, no edges. Okay. So now what you're going to do want to do is color drop it. If you do not know to color drop it, you just drag the color on the top right there. And you're going to want to hold down for like, a few, like one second and then put it down and there you go. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to repeat this pro process by going into layers and duplicating it. So duplicate layer 1, whatever your layer is called, like so. Just swipe like that. Now you're going to want to go into the little arrow icon on the very top. When you click on this arrow icon, you're going to want to take it. And if you see the little green line dot there, you're going to want to rotate it. So put the... Like, so if you can see, it looks weird. But when I turn it, I put the down edge on the bottom. So here is how to color drop it again, if you guys didn't see that. Because on my view, it was kind of blurry. But anyway, then when you're done, it should look like this. And here's the process again, if it was blurry for you. Because it was blurry for me. So duplicate it. And yeah. Also... Um, you can add glimmer on these if you know to do that, and you can do different colors. So when you're duplicating it, you can, you can like change the color, but it's kind of confusing. So after you've rotated it, like um, I'm about to show again, it should look something like this. Then you should have two. Then you're going to repeat the process in this corner, do a different shape, but it's still swirly. So make sure to create a new layer. Don't go ahead. So now you can do it. So I'm all done. Um, it's a bad transition, but now I color dropped it. And then I'm going to do another shape here. So I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to do another shape uh, around the top. Not on the edge, but like around where I'm showing. So now all done. And I color dropped it, as you can see. So if you don't really like the way it's formed, but you like your shape, you can do the same thing and go into the arrow and you can move it with the green dot and like angle it a different way. I decided I didn't like my shape, so I decided to redo it and not really move it. I only moved it a tiny bit to see if I wanted to relocate it. You can relocate it if you don't like where it is. But when you're done with that, now we're gonna do background color. So it is optional to do this, but sometimes you don't want to white. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a really similar color. So I did my pink, but a little bit lighter. And it's kind of like white, but really light. It might be hard to see on the screen, but there's a tint of pink if you can see. Or you can just leave it white or do a different color background. I like it like this. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Bye!